A very good evening and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International with me, Danielle Deporto. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa in the presence of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, received this evening at Sakir Palace the Speakers of the Representatives and Shura Councils, the Ministers, the Acting President of the Supreme Judicial Council, Chairman and of the Financial and Administrative Control Bureau, President of Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Governors and Heads of Municipal Councils. The attendees extended to His Majesty the King their sincere greetings for the advent of the holy month of Ramadan, wishing His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness and for Bahrain under His Majesty's wide leadership, security, progress and prosperity. His Majesty the King welcomed all the well-wishers and exchanged with them greetings, marking the holy month of Ramadan. He also thanked them for their noble sentiments, praising their efforts in serving the nation and enhancing its status and pioneering role in all fields. On this occasion, His Majesty the King wished the people and residents many happy returns and for the Islamic and Arab nations, peace and prosperity. His Majesty the King asserted that Ramadan is a month for mercy, forgiveness, communication and compassion, in which the values of cooperation and social solidarity are strengthened. His Majesty the King also affirmed that the people of Bahrain have been a one united family and the Kingdom of Bahrain will continue to be an oasis of peace and stability and the nation of coexistence and security for its people and residents. He also noted that Bahrain will remain the home of tolerance and moderation that is open to the world and is proud of its heritage and cultural wealth. He expressed pride in the Bahraini experience, qualified cadres and expertise that serve the nations in all sectors that are a source of confidence in Bahrain's future and progress. His Majesty expressed pride in the Bahraini competencies and expertise that serve the country in all sectors. He noted the importance of cooperation for a better future, praying for Allah Almighty for success and unification amongst the people of Bahrain.
تشكرون على كل الجهود اللي تبذلون كل مسؤول منكم يعني قائم بواجبه و... واحنا في الواقع نقدر عرف الجهود الكبيره اللي تبذلون كلها تصب في مصلحه الله الحمد البلد والمواطن والجميع فعلى كل حال هذا شهر خير وشهر بركة ولقاءات مستمرة بين المواطنين وبين الناس تزيد من أخوتهم وتزيد من ألفتهم وهذا اللي احنا بالفعل يسرنا فكل عام وانتم بخير His Majesty the King also received heads of accredited diplomatic missions in the kingdom who congratulated him on the advent of the holy month of Ramadan, wishing he and the people of Bahrain many happy returns. His Majesty welcomed the ambassadors of brotherly countries, hailing the outstanding bilateral relations and affirming the continuous keenness to develop them. His Majesty expressed appreciation for the ambassadors' efforts to enhance joint cooperation between Bahrain and their countries. He asserted that the holy month of Ramadan enhances the values of brotherhood and cohesion and stresses the principles of Islam. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, received today at Qunabiya Palace a number of officials, business and media figures, and intellectuals, where they congratulated His Royal Highness on the advent of the holy month of Ramadan. 
His Royal Highness affirmed that the Holy Month's atmosphere is a sign of maintained security and stability for the region, especially after the successful historic summit recently held in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, which formulated an important phase of international joint action to enhance security and stability and combat terrorism. He stressed the importance of expanding Bahraini international investment and affirmed Bahrain's support of all efforts targeting progress and development. His Royal Highness also stressed the need to enhance communication amongst Bahraini society in order to enhance national unity. He urged that Ramadan Majlises be places to meet and exchange opinions on topics that support the Kingdom's efforts towards further progress. He affirmed continuous progress in all sectors, which is necessary to provide the people of Bahrain with high living standards. His Royal Highness praised the role of the media and press in contributing to the country's successful progress. He also discussed with the audience recent regional and international developments and added that the primary goal of every regional and international strategy is to maintain security and stability and achieve further prosperity. representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, witnessed the launch of the final stage of the 100th Giro d'Italia, which is a leading cycling tournament. Bahrain Merida Pro Cycling Team took part in the race, in which the team's captain, Vincenzo Nibali, won second place in the overall ranking, after coming in third at the end of the second round. Giro d'Italia is considered one of the world's most difficult races due to its hard route of steep slopes and inclines. The race starts from Tardinia and ends in Milan. It is made up of 21 stages and is 3,615 kilometers long. Sheikh Nasser affirmed Bahrain's keenness to take part in various athletic events and to promote its achievements and developments at all levels, according to the directives of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa. He added that the participation of Bahrain Merida team comes in line with His Majesty's vision to place Bahrain at the centre of the sporting map, which will be achieved through the recognition the Kingdom will receive by fans and participants after witnessing the team's strong performance in this leading tournament. He noted that the team's participation will have positive outcomes for Bahrain and will make the country a hub for cycling in the Middle East, in line with Bahrain's vision 2030. Sheikh Nasser expressed admiration of the track, saying that it offers a challenge to the cyclists, he hailed Team Merida's preparation for the race, expressing optimism about his performance in the Giro d'Italia based on positive results in previous tournaments. He noted that participation in such global tournaments will provide the Kingdom with the experience to host similar contests in the future.
The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, today inspected a number of schools where he was assured of the progress of final examinations and reviewed the Ministry's procedures to ensure the examinations proceed smoothly. He also listened to the views and observations of a number of students and members of administrative and educational bodies regarding these examinations. Al Naimi affirmed that the Ministry has provided all facilities that guarantee that students perform final exams in a suitable environment, which will contribute to students achieving the best results. He added that the Ministry took into account the accuracy and clarity of questions and formed ministerial committees competent to respond to questions from schools on this regard, also taking into consideration the difficulty or ease of the course when preparing the examination schedule. The Minister also inspected a number of examination committees for students with special needs, cancer and sickle cell disease. He also added that the Ministry has provided a sufficient number of exam correction centres in all governorates affirming the importance of committing to regulations and laws that ensure accuracy in correcting exams and sorting out the results on time. The Minister praised the efforts of educators in the Ministry and schools that aided the success of final examinations, wishing all students good luck. Ramadan is a time of reflection, spirituality and ancient traditions. Individuals and retail stores have been busy getting ready to welcome the Holy Month. More in this report with Yasmin Ibrahim. Upon the approach of the month that features highly spiritually charged atmospheres blended into aesthetic rituals, preparations are a full swing in the kingdom. The products which we are getting it from abroad, generally we start ordering those about four months in advance because they take time to come here. But as far as there are certain products which are local products, all the pro local products are being bought at least a month before and whole Ramadan display and everything goes on the shelves at least 15 to 20 days before Ramadan. Families early prepare themselves for the holy month of Ramadan through different rituals, starting from the moon sighting as people observe fasting from dawn to dusk, to buying food supplies, sharing Ramadan-induced feelings of joy. Ramadan is different, different. Timing is different, so preparing for Ramadan usually it will be, we are less sleeping, but most of the time we are going to prepare food, f visiting family, or going shopping, or going to take items. Especially with the start of Ramadan, you know, uh, the pakoras, the samosas, the chicken, and you know, all these, uh, the frozen stuff, the, the, the sea kebabs, you know. So this is something that is, uh, iftar, iftar is incomplete, incomplete with. So we all uh, love to shop for Ramadan, and uh, we look forward to working, and we've got, got some good promotions and offers in Ramadan. I am preparing my home, also cleaning home, and I came for shopping, for gro take grocery, for Ramadan. That's why I came here. I can't take in Ramadan, no? I, I will keep fast. That's why I came here, to preparation for my Ramadan. Eat, stock up on a lot of things, especially oil, because you fry a lot of stuff. Uh, during Ramadan, you have a lot of fried things. That's, that's about it, just stocking up on everything so that we don't have to come to the supermarket all the time. As the ninth and holiest month in the Muslim calendar comes to a close, the country anticipates joy in preparations to welcome Ramadan, building upon the seasonal festivity of the holy month. Another year passes and Bahrain gets ready to welcome at the doorstep another month of the holy month of Ramadan. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim.